Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, I've got a lot of exciting stuff to share with you on this video. In a few minutes though, I'm gonna get Houston out here and we are going to hand feed his giant pet bluegill. I've, I've been working with this fish for several weeks now and he will literally eat worms out of your hand. But look who's here. Bear stopped by for a visit. Bear hadn't got any camera time in a while, have you Bear? What you been doing, buddy? You been out protecting the goats? So, uh, a lot going on. First thing though, you may notice all this debris and stuff around behind me. We're finally getting our roof fixed from when that giant tree fell on our house. We waited several months because lumber and metal prices have been so high and it wasn't leaking, but uh, yeah, we're putting a whole new roof on the, the old part of the house, so the log part and uh, new new cedar trim and all that but so let me get into the video today this video is a little bit out of order so we actually just got back from miami florida dj emily houston and i all went down to miami for let's see i guess we were gone five days weston weston stayed back home he was working and had to had to do a few other things so he took care of all the animals and the fish pond the turtles which we'll get more into that in a second the pond looking magnificent the fish are hungry this morning our aquatic plants our water hyacinth and water lettuce isn't doing really great i don't think we get enough sunlight right here so i want to tell you more about this trip to miami and why i'm posting this video before those so it just worked out perfectly for us because Salt Life, the apparel brand, Salt Life, reached out to us several months back and wanted to know if we wanted to do a collab video with them. So the reason we were in Miami is because they wanted us to come down and do a tarpon fishing video with them, with one of their Salt Life pros. So basically we flew down to Miami, did that video. Uh, you got That'll be the first one you guys see from the trip with, uh, with a, one of the guides down there. And we're in the bay tarpon is like a bucket list fish for a lot of people they call them the, the silver king they're like a giant minnow is what they look like they're a cool fish and so we spent one day with him and then we also went out since we were in miami area we fish and we go down and bow fish a lot with uh donovan from arrow assault bow fishing that's who we go shoot the the uh iguanas with with blow dart guns we do bow fishing we went down and uh, we've done several trips with him so we went and hung out with donovan for the day because at least I, myself, and Houston have dreamed of going lobstering in Florida. We watch so many videos, so many deer meat for dinner and Blue Gabe and all these people that go out and snorkel for lobster. Well, we did it. Donovan is such a, he's such a cool person. He does so many different things down there. I mean, we've tried and tried and tried to talk to Donovan about starting a YouTube channel. He posts all kinds of stuff on his Instagram. Go check him out at Arrow Assault Bow Fishing. But Donovan, he's originally an Okie, was a 20-year Army veteran that retired, and he's a full-time charter captain now. But he just does so much cool stuff. He knows so much about what he's doing outside of bow fishing. He's just such a cool person. And I think we actually got Donovan talked into starting his own YouTube channel because he does so many cool adventures but uh so we'll have two videos from florida the the lobster stuff props to those guys that do it all the time it is difficult it is extremely difficult but emily and houston got out there in the water with us and really tried hard we caught like donovan ended up catching most of the lobster i'm not gonna lie but i caught a few emily tried really hard houston just isn't able to dive down that deep yet with the current and all that stuff in in the ocean is tough but it was fun so look forward to those videos the farm while we were gone everything's just fine <sighs> except so our little turtle enclosure houston's not out here right now i'm just going to tell you guys ahead of time um two turtles are missing we had four and now we're down to two they're kind of bashful i just fed them a little bit of turtle feed but they're kind of bashful um not sure not sure where two turtles went but it's not that big a deal houston's a little upset by it but literally the two that got out 
we're just wild caught box turtles from our area i mean i'm not that worried about it it's we can replace them but uh houston's little turtle enclosure i don't think a predator got them it's possible they might have dug out i'm not sure i mean weston weston didn't even notice they were gone because most of the time they're hiding under the log so when we got home houston was extremely upset that two of his turtles were missing but i don't think anything attacked them maybe a dog might have reached in and picked them up and got them out and set them on the ground that's very possible bella did you do that did you did you go fetch a turtle and get it out hmm. so i'm gonna wake houston up it's kind of early this morning i'm gonna wake him up he's got a buddy here we're gonna get some worms some night crawlers and feed that big giant bluegill i'm telling you dude it's so much fun it's it's neat just to watch them come eat out of your hand all right well this is houston's little worm farm that he's had for quite a while now it's i don't know since last fall but it's got it's got a lot of worms in it so we're going to pick some worms out and uh feed these guys to that bluegill the little bluegill are going to tear them up first but we'll get some down there to the big one it's like i need to add some more food there's my worms look at there I'm going to get quite a few because they haven't had any worms in several days since we were gone. They've just been eating the pellet feed, so I know they'll be hungry for worms. Two. One. I've seen, I saw both of your bass this morning. Yes. They were hanging out over there under all the plants earlier yeah the fish are really like those like that all right let's get some worms and see if we can find that big bluegill and feed him so they get the little bluegill get a little bit fuller yep we wanted to fill up the little bluegill first so i got a whole lot of little night crawler worms and so what happens is that that big bluegill <sighs> likes to stay down deep so you got to take those worms and hold it down deep the problem is, is these little ones are just savages, man. They'll come up and just oh, there's my turtle. Rob it. My turtle is right there. Oh, you see? My snapping turtle. Those things are strong. Oh. So this right here is a baby snapping turtle that me and Jacoby found. None of y'all should know about this yet. Yeah, we think we lost your red ear slider, though, huh? Well, we know he's gone now. It, yeah. He kind of disappeared on us. I think he was able to crawl up the plants and get over the edge. But this one here, I think it's now my favorite over that <laughs> you, other baby. You Jacoby found a baby snapping turtle in our goat pen. Not okay. sure what he was doing in there. So, I'll tell you the story. Here, just let him swim off. Wow. He's <laughs> just sinking. So, so what we were doing down there, me and Jacoby, we're over there at the pen. He was staying the night with me. And we were going to get some eggs, look for some eggs. And Jacoby says, hey, let's go look under those ducks. See if there's any eggs under them. We go over there. Ducks get up, get away, go away. We think it's, I, we thought it was just sitting on a rock. But the ducks were sitting on that snapping turtle. I think he was trying to eat an egg. What do you think? Maybe. All right, let's feed your bluegill. Yeah. So that big bluegill likes to hide under the rock. So don't don't put your hand under the rock. Try to make him come out, okay?
those worms. <laughs> those worms are dead. So we've got the the fish eating done and so we're trying to tame the bass and everything right now. Prom I promise. I'm trying. You almost got the one of the bass to eat out yeah, of your hand. It was really close and almost he did too. But we need to uh, we need to add a little bit of water today. So as yeah. you can see we're we're a few inches low, but like I said we were gone for uh, five days. And and we do have a small leak. I know we've talked about that a little bit, but I think it's under the bottom. But you can see we got just a little bit of a leak, but literally it can't be leaking very much because with evaporation and the leak, we've probably only lost two to three inches of water in the last week. So, hey, why don't we uh, feed your turtles, see if they'll yeah. eat some tomato real quick. That's what we're gonna do. You fed them a couple worms. I didn't get that on video. They ate the worms though, didn't they? Yeah. Man, look at you. You're, just, you're pretty good at tearing tomatoes in half. You kind of already cut it. Yeah. So I sold them this morning. You're down to two turtles. Yeah. But hey, the one, the one big one still here. That one that, was the, was a pet for two years. Yeah. That's the one so, that I'm glad about that we still have. Yeah. But this, only this, could probably only last these turtles until maybe tomorrow evening oh uh, they'll eat them faster than that i bet you at, yeah probably because the four turtles they could eat this within say right now they could eat it right now and it would be gone in the morning literally well let's see if you see if these two are hungry mm -hmm. tomatoes are their favorite food that we've found so far yeah and worms We may have to back up a little bit, guys, and just let them in. So like I said, feeding that big giant bluegill worms by hand, it's just, it's neat, it's so cool. It's so fun to, to watch these fish that, they're, they're the local native fish, other than the three goldfish in there, they're local native fish that we fish for. So it's really fun to watch how they interact with each other, how they feed, what they do, how they, what their habits are. Like that big giant bluegill hides 90% of the time under a rock or somewhere under structure. The little bluegill, and the little sunfish and they all just they're like 
they're like just wild and crazy the big one hides kind of makes you wonder what are they like in a lake or a pond or somewhere do the big ones always hide like that i get it with the bass i knew bass did that but i would have thought a big bluegill who has no predators in that tank over there would just kind of hang out and run the show but he doesn't but uh anyways it's fun feeding them it's neat it's fun to learn and it's just uh it's interesting but anyway so guys like i said we'll have a couple videos coming out in a row on this trip to florida it was all not all but the, the whole first video sponsored by salt life it's cool getting to work with a major huge major apparel brand like that especially considering we started our own little small brand you know but uh the, the the best time i mean we had the time of our life with donovan out there lobstering that is so much fun and like i said i think he's kind of talked himself into or he's let us talk him into starting a youtube channel he was picking my brain quite a bit while we were there um we had a great time and the dude is a he's an incredible person i think if he starts a youtube channel it will be amazing it'll be it'll be super successful i have no doubt if he keeps at it so anyways guys that's all we've got for today i uh go in the house and cool off it's starting to get hot outside already the humidity in oklahoma is insane but uh guys thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video